All right, you guys, so for this XP glitch, you want to load in this map. So hit creative, hit island code, and type in this code on my screen. It's going to be 63218483. Enter. As always, it's always the links, the, I mean, the code's always in the description. Hit play, make sure it's set the private game, and hit play again, and I'll see you guys as soon as we're loaded in. Real quickly, guys, this video is actually brought to you by Black Squad. Black Squad is a free to play military FPS game available on Steam. It's a play to win game where everything depends on how good you are and your skill. The nice thing about this game is it's very compact, and its new version, Black Squad. Royal Road is very good for your network and PC specifications. So if your PC or Wi-Fi is not the greatest, it doesn't matter because this game runs smoothly. Some of its features include its authentic military elements with realistic weapons, maps, characters, and skins. There are hundreds of combinations and your creativity can run wild. A lot of the weapon skins are actually based on historical evidence and there's a variety of game modes and realistic sounds that give you a thrilling real experience. One of their new modes called Super Match is a special battle type where players can gather tokens and compete for a rank. The better you do, the higher you climb. Its new weapon and character tuning systems allow you to enjoy the content more efficiently. Check out Black Squad Royal Road by downloading it at the description and you might find me online. Alrighty, now that we're loaded in, I'm gonna go to my settings and hit start game. It may take a second, so just be patient. Um, but once it loads, the very first thing that you need to do to activate the XP, come up to this podium right in front of you, type in my code Baylor1x, you guys know the drill, hit accept, you'll see some confetti, this activates XP and will support me greatly, so thank you guys. And now let's go to the first XP glitch. So for the first one, let's go to this exit sign right through here, and we want to find the light switch and just turn it off, and while we're over here, I'll grab a couple grapplers, um, just in case. So we're going to turn this off just so we can see everything around us, because this is where all the glitches are going to be. So for the first one that I have for you guys today, it's going to be going to that black box. Now you have to get inside of it. So what you have to do is come over to this corner, like right here, um, that's in front of it and look this way and just place three floors. One, two, three, and then turn right and place three more. One, two, three, and then walk straight and it will teleport you into the black box. Now come over to these first two vending machines in between and you're going to see a button right under that says secret and you can select it and it will teleport you back and you will start to get some XP. Now, I'm not going to lie, some of these glitches are not the best, um, but that's just because today there's a lot of the glitches have been patched today, so just, um, that, that's kind of what we're dealing with today, so I apologize in advance. But for the next one, what we want to do is come out again to the exit sign and find the stop sign. So the stop sign is going to be right next to where we were before. It's going to be over there. This time, unfortunately, guys, you do have to build to it. Um, just because it is, uh, there is no teleporter. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just build over to it. It may take a second, so just be patient, guys. I know it's not the most fun thing to do, but just keep on going. It really does not take that much time, and it's worth it for the XP, even if it's not crazy amount. So we're almost there. We're gonna get there in no time at all. Um, you can build up a little bit if you want. I usually just like to stick with the floors because we'll be on level playing field anyway. And then now that we're about to here, what I'm gonna do is just grapple ahead and we'll just grapple right in front of it. And then at the base of it, there's gonna be another secret button. You can select it. You'll get teleported back and start to get some more XP. It's looking like it's about 700 every time, which is not bad at all considering, you know, it is free XP for doing nothing. So yeah, we're getting a good amount of XP. It's not as crazy as sometimes, but it is a good amount. So for the next one, we're also gonna need to build to another place while we're waiting for that to end. It's gonna be the float floating island. So you gotta look around to the left of the pirate ship. It's gonna be all the way in that distance. Now what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna use the path we've already made and I'm just gonna grapple across all the way until we get to about the point where um, we're like close enough to where we can just grapple. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grapple um, over, use the cactuses, and we're just gonna grapple up the mountain until we get close to the floating island. And you'll see what you can actually do is you can actually jump straight across if you want to, you can sprint across. Um, if you don't feel good about that, you can always just build across just like that. But once you're on here, in the very center right here, there's gonna be another button, as you guys know. Hit the secret button and it will teleport you back and you guys will start to get another 650 XP every time. As you guys are seeing, it's adding up. I mean, in total, we probably get, <laughs> gained about like 20, sorry guys, about like 20K XP from this. So not bad at all if you really account for everything that we've gotten. It's really not a bad, a bad map. So now for the next one, we're actually gonna get to go to the pirate ship. I haven't seen the pirate ship in a while, so it's gonna be interesting to go back to it. Um, but we're gonna build across to it. No shortcuts here, just kind of building straight to it. Um, but we're gonna go to the bottom of the ship. So we're gonna go all the way across and we have to get through it So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna grapple onto here And we're gonna go under these stairs um, through this door and then down these stairs all the way Until you get down about here You're gonna keep going down until you find yourself in the very bottom of the ship 
And then you just want to go this way, past this bed. And you're going to see two shell, um, cells. The one on the left is going to have this little bucket in the corner. And right above it, there's going to be another button. And as soon as you guys select it, you'll get teleported back. And you will start to get another 500, 600 XP a pop. And it will keep on adding up for a little while. And you will get a good amount of XP. Now, because this map doesn't have that much XP on it, what I do recommend is actually just going to your settings and ending the game and then starting it again, and then just doing all these glitches over again. It really is worth it, so if you want to watch the video back one more time and do them all again, you may not get as much XP, but you will still get some more XP, and it, will, it can be really worth it, you know, depending on how much XP you need. And as you can see, I'm almost to level 43 just from this, so it's a good map, and yeah. Um, if you want more XP um, glitches, make sure to um, subscribe and you know check out my other videos i post um these videos every day so turn on notifications so you don't miss any and yeah once again thank you for um black squad for sponsoring this video and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out